everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I don't really know what to call this video. It's going to be kind of like a what's in my bag type of video, um, except I want to show you like what's in my sticker pouch or what's in my sticker bag, like what I like to carry around with me with my planner. So I have my B6 planner here. Um, this is a Foxy Fix B6. If you guys watch my What's My Current Planner video, uh, I talked about how this is my school planner. So this is the planner that I take with me every single day. And one of the things that I like to do is in my planner, I like to carry around uh, this little pouch. So I'll just stick it in here and it goes right in my planner with me. In addition to that, I always have um, the leftovers for the sticker kit that I used uh, for that week and that's kind of in um, my pocket here for my planner and then um, the monthly sticker kit that I used that's in there so I have all of those leftovers in there um, I'm also going to show you like my leftover sticker book that is it's small enough that it kind of goes with my you know setup here that I carry around with me so let me go ahead and show you guys what's in this this little pouch I believe I got it from it was like a simply it was either a simply gilded subscription or some type of subscription service where you know you get little accessories like this I like to carry around certain stickers that I use quite frequently and the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I want to see what type of stickers I rotate into kind of this like everyday sticker pouch that I have. So I constantly am cleaning this pouch out, constantly adding new things in it. So I wanted to share with you guys, you know, what I, I have in it currently. So um, the first things I have here, these are a little bow clips from Planning World. I use bow clips quite frequently and you guys um, will see that when it comes to, I keep a lot of icons in this pouch. So I use these kind of to mark important dates. And then the next little chunk here is I have a whole bunch of little icons here from Little Miss Papery. So I have some little paw prints, uh, little trash cans, these little boxes um, that I use when I have to ship out a package um, for my Mercari website when I have to uh, ship something out that I sold. These little envelopes to remind me uh, to either to write to my pen pal or to ship out again a package. Little grocery carts because I go grocery shopping every single week. Manicure bottles or little nail polish bottles because I, you know, I do, a, I give myself a manicure every week. And then little cleaning bottles because um, I clean either weekly or bi weekly, depending on what I need to clean that week. And then next, I have a little sheet here of gas icons and I got this as a freebie I think from Tasseled Planner and I use this every time I need to remind myself to fill up. So the next thing I have here is a basically it's a little um, sticker sheet and I have a whole bunch of leftover bows and so I keep all of my bows in this like little leftover sheet here if I have a leftover from a kit I will just stick it here and I keep this with me instead of in the book because I use bows quite often or bow clips Next, I have these pastel bow clips, which I haven't used yet, but I put them in here to remind me to use them. These are from Tasseled Planner. And then I have a whole bunch of Inky and the Brain um, icons, basically. So this are her palm clips. I just finished a sheet of these. So this is the glossy one. Um, I went ahead and put a second one in there. I have the bow clips. These are uh, the matte bow clips. No, these are the glossy blow, uh, bow clips, excuse me. These are the matte ones. And this is my backup sheet because I have just a few of these left over. I love using these. I use these in my monthly. I use these in my weekly. I, I use these all the time. I love these little bow, bow clips because as you guys can see they're pretty tiny so you can use them on like quarter labels um, appointment labels or even full boxes so I love using those um, I have some pencil ones I have them both in glossy and in matte I am a student and I'm also a teacher so I love using these little pencils to mark assignments um, any anything that's school related or work related these little coffee pots because I like to uh, clean my coffee maker bi-weekly and so I have like an espresso ma maker so I like to clean that out and then I have another one of these like leftover sheets 
Again, just like with the bows, I mark coffee every single week, multiple times a week actually, because I go grocery shopping and I get, that's what like my Starbucks run. Um, and so I have a leftover of coffee cups from like samplers and stuff like that. And um, I, this gets filled up and emptied out all the time. Then I have um, this sheet here. It's a little face mask one from Polished Pattern. So you have some little face masks here and then you have one with the, the print. Um, I do a face mask once a week, sometimes twice a week. So, you know, depending on how busy my week is, I like to mark when I'm going to be doing my face mask for that week, just to remind myself to pamper myself, to wind down and um, to take a chill pill basically. Um, I have of course some more nail polish bottles. This is from um, J'adore Planning. I had to kind of cut the sheet because it was too big to fit in here. Um, but I have several sizes. Those are the smaller sizes and then these are the bigger nail polish bottles. I have some flags here from Planner Gems. Again, I had to cut the sheet because it didn't fit in here. I've already gone through a whole sheet of these. So this is my backup. I love using flags um, to kind of just mark last minute things that I didn't write down earlier in the week. And then I have this kind of period tracker from the Giving Girls. I only have one of these going at a time. So when I use a sheet, I just, um, you know, get rid of it. And we all know how often we get this. I have some like foiled little accents. I don't know what to call these, like little accent things. So um, this is from Scribble, Scribble Prince Co. And you have stars, little dots, and little bows. And these are kind of like twinkly accent things. I have them in the three different foil colors. So um, gold, um, silver and rose gold. So I just add these to little icons, to whatever it is that I wanna add a little bit of sparkle. Same thing goes for this. This is from Simply Watercolor Co. These are her like foiled basic little twinkling um, bows or hearts. So I have it in like all the foil colors. I also have the ones where it's like multiple bows and then kind of a mixture. So it's got like hearts, bows, um, and stars. So I have that in, like I said, all three uh, foil colors. And then the last sheet I have here, this is from Sophie Rose Paper Shop. It is the gold clear bows. Um, I finished up my sheet of silver ones, so I have to grab a backup of that and put it in this bag. I love these. I add these on to, to anything. I specifically like using this in my uh, YouTube planner, but you know, I carry around with me in here just in case I wanted to use it in uh, my B6. So the next thing I wanna share with you guys is this little sticker book. I got this off of Amazon. I have a small one and a larger one. So the larger one is like an eight by 11 or eight by 12 or whatever uh, standard paper size, the like eight and a half by 11 standard paper size one. That one is huge. So I don't carry that one around. I keep a lot of leftovers in there that are not something I'm going to reach for very often or I'm only going to reach for when I'm doing like my weekly planner setup. Full boxes, habit trackers, bottom washi leftovers, date cover left, like things like that. That's what I keep in that sticker book. So this sticker book, and I will link it, I will leave it linked down below in the description box for you if it's still available on Amazon. I can't remember how many pages are in here, but it's quite a bit. So I'll do a very quick flip through to kind of show you guys, you know, what the different stickers are here. So pretty much I have a whole bunch of like, I don't know, uh, deco type of stickers here. So this one is like planner related. This here is like happy mail related. Uh, this here is like food related. I have some beauty time stuff here, some gym stuff here. I like to leave it kind of sectioned off um, by category. These are all like my tasks. So like cleaning, laundry, all that type of stuff. This is my random deco page. So anything that I just liked, I um, added in here. And then I have some icons like little stars and arrows and things like that. These are my circle icons, which honestly I might just get rid of um, some of these circle icons because I don't really use that many of these. I did in the beginning and I used up a lot of them, but I, didn't, I don't really use um, these all that often. I prefer this next section, which is my kiss cut icons. So I prefer using kiss cut icons much more. I love carrying this around with me because whenever I need to add like a flag or I just need to add something, um, I have these like leftover icons here that I can just grab from. The next section I have here are some long flags. 
I have some bows um, from S Scribble Prints Co. And these were too big to fit into like my little bow leftover sheet. I have some leftover appointment labels and I like to separate these from like between matte and glossy. These are kind of like my work labels here and this is where I start to get into like my quarter boxes. Um, and these I try to keep separated between like matte and glossy but ultimately I just kind of place them um, wherever they go. But I do keep it kind of separated between um, quarter, like quarter labels or uh, smaller labels. And then you have like your half boxes. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this as stable as possible. I know it would probably be better to do it face down, but you know, whatever. I'm feeling lazy, you guys, I'm feeling lazy. So quarter boxes or um, half boxes, excuse me. More half boxes. These I did a better job in be between keeping them separated between um, matte and glossy. And that's it. I have a few leftover pages back here because half boxes and quarter boxes, those are the ones that I have the most leftovers of, but those are also the ones that I utilize the most. And I will try to do like spreads where I don't use an actual kit and I just use my leftovers for. Um, yeah, so I use that book all the time. So I thought it would be fun to kind of share with you guys what I keep in my pouch, what I keep in my bag. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to label this video and then kind of my leftover um, sticker book that I carry around with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Hopefully you guys at least found this video entertaining or maybe useful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I currently post three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then on Sunday or every other Sunday, I like to do a weekly makeup basket. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.